hey y'all welcome or welcome back so it has been a little second but i still wanted to talk about alone time and how alone time is very important in this state that we are in right now the way the world is going the way um some of our challenges are everyone is different from um the other and some of the things that we do through on a day-to-day basis some of the things that we do some of the challenges that we face whether it's from the past whether it's currently we need alone time and um especially for our mental health and I'm so happy and glad that like mental health is being taken seriously because I think that before a lot of people would just brush it under the rug a lot of people won't pay it any mind a lot of people wouldn't take it as serious as it has been and um I feel like now it's finally getting attention that it should have been getting and should have been receiving but thank god that we have that now And sometimes when you're trying to be alone, when you spend alone time, you have that time to take a breath. You have that time to be within your own self, within your own thoughts, away from the world, away from the news, away from the chaos, just away from everything and everyone at the moment. And I think sometimes people take it too personal and they don't understand mental health and they don't understand the toll that certain things might take on you, whether you're a mother, whether you're a person who was SA before, whether um, you're just a person who is trying to get everything back together. And every time you do, it seems like something else comes up, something else happens, something else kind of derails you in a way. And you have to kind of keep repeating that cycle. And I don't know if anybody else feels like this but I just feel like ever since C19 we all know everything has just never been the same but even ourselves like have you just noticed like and even with yourself how you feel now kind of the differences of the way you were before the things that you were doing before and the things that you're doing now um just that in itself and then also the world it's just it's just crazy it's just a lot it's a bit much it's a bit much to do it's a bit much to take in it's a bit much to deal with so i think that alone time is very important spending time alone is very important prioritizing yourself is very important and that's one thing that i'm definitely going to focus on and i'm definitely doing this year is prioritizing myself my thoughts and um trying just to make the best of it and actually putting one step before the other and not actually talking about it but actually doing it actually being in the gist of making those movements instead of just talking and it's so different for everyone personally and everyone um in their lives but I feel like especially moms single moms single moms particularly um we wear as we wear so many hats we do so many things we are the go-to we are really you know we the queens we run we run this ish if (laughs) i say so myself but we are really in charge and sometimes um self-care for us is taking a nap taking a breather being alone for just that 20 minutes um sometimes we have to really decide whether when we, you know, get the kids to sleep or once we're done with mommy duties, do we want to take a nap? Do we want to lay down? Do we want to clean up um, before they wake back up? Do you want to? It's so many different things because, like I said, for everyone it's different. And then for everyone, it might be you need to go for a walk. You need to be outside the house. You need to gather your thoughts you might need to talk to someone but sometimes it's not always about talking to someone and it's about being alone it's about prioritizing yourself it's about taking a a step back from everything that's going on and just being with yourself and being with your thoughts and just (sighs) taking a breather taking a wusa and i need um i really want moms to make this like a big thing this year to prioritize ourselves and um try to put in some type of self-care i feel like i want to 
kind of make like um or think of another idea in a way where we can have self-care because I, I love the YouTube videos of like the aesthetics, the self-care routines, the shower routines. It's like, baby, it's giving everything that it needs to give for a mom, single mom at that. We don't have hours. We don't have long time to, um, you know, do the shower routine, some of the ones that we've seen. So I think I might try to implement that on my channel also. And, um, just showing ways and kind of getting to other people little ways that we can prioritize ourselves and we can take time out for ourselves but to understand that too even if it's just spending time alone and kind of not going out all the time or going out to do this and that when you spend time alone and you do these things that you want to do and just take a, a, a step back as I said before it's really um heartwarming it's where it's really going to be felt even if you take that time alone and let's say you take a shower or you take you take not not really a shower but let's say you take a bath a bubble bath for like maybe 20 minutes while the kids are asleep or something or you know you go out for breakfast and have like a little 15 20 minutes to just sit down and have a coffee and have some toast have some eggs just whatever pleases you some donuts or whatever the case may be that little bit of time that we can set aside maybe like an 18 or 20 minute that we can squeeze in to shave our legs take a bubble bath drink some coffee go somewhere and relax take a walk by ourselves that alone time is going to be worth it that little bit of time out of our 24 hour day will kind of I think be a step it might not be a lot but it will be a first step into our journeys and into prioritizing ourselves and into knowing that we are important you are important as well it's important to socialize I feel like it's important to talk to people it's important to engage it's important to have that human contact that human um you know feedback and all of that stuff but it is also very important to be alone it's important to spend time with yourself it's important to know that you are and you are very important as well and that you don't have to be you know validated from other people to feel as so you don't have to give sometimes what you don't have and if we don't take care of ourselves if we don't prioritize ourselves how are we going to give to others how are we going to give to ourselves even really like we have to learn and have to start making things about us and yes it's about our family our our children maybe our um significant other but it is also very well and very much so about you and I think we have to learn and have to try to implicate and make sure that we are worried about ourselves. We are taking care of us first. Yes, it's always this, you know, your mother first and your such and such, and your kids come first. Yes, but what are they going to be without me? What are they going to do if I'm not together? What are they going to do if I lose my shits? Excuse me. What are they going to do? They are not going to be with me. They are not going to be getting the best me that they can possibly get if I'm not all the way there, if I'm not all the way feeling up to par. And some days we might not feel up to par. Some days we might feel like we don't want to do this and we don't want to such and such and we just want to effing break or we just need to do this and we need to do that. And we do, some days we don't want to do much. And sometimes it's good to just not do much. It's good to push yourself, it's good to do these things, but it is also good to understand that we have to have a balance, we have to put a balance in between because we don't want to overwork ourselves, we don't want to drive ourselves crazy, we don't want to stress ourselves out, we don't want to do too much, but I understand that, you know, we have goals and we have things that we want to attend to and things that we have to understand that don't happen overnight, especially when you're a mom, especially if you're a single mom, it's things that are not going to happen overnight and things are not going to go our way and we can't compare ourselves to other people we can't compare our journeys to other people everybody journey is definitely different everything that people are doing is not the same every type of goal every type of situation lifestyle all of that is different but i just really wanted to say that prioritize ourselves make time for yourselves 
Make it about you. Spend that alone time if you need to spend alone time. Spend the time out for a little bit if you need to spend the time out. But do what makes you happy and do what makes you feel good. Do what makes you feel like you're whole again. You know, we get caught up in so much of everything else and everyone else. And sometimes it's good to take a step back, prioritize yourself, take that time for you, understand that it's not about everyone else and understand that I need this time for me, even if it's nothing, even if it's for me to do the littlest things. You need the time for you. And society loves to push it on that, you know, being alone is, you know, loser, sucker. Oh, you don't have this or you don't have that. No, being alone is very worth it. Being alone, spending time alone is priceless. It's priceless. It's just as much as spending time with other people. But I think it's so looked down upon or, you know, looked down as it's not as important or it's not such a, a good thing because it's not you partying or it's not you going to have drinks 24-7 or it's not you drinking yourself to death, God forbid, or it's not you doing this and doing it's fine to spend time alone. It's fine to do stuff alone. It's time. It's, it's fine, excuse me, to do nothing alone. It is fine to be in your thoughts. And you get up, you get caught up sometimes with everything that you forget to take the time out for yourself, that you forget to, you know what, I need to be with my thoughts. I need to relax. I need to sit down. I need to reset. I need to rest. I need to rest. I need to rest. I need to rest. That is definitely one of the biggest ones. It's like, I need to rest, honey. I can't keep going like this. I can't keep moving like this. And I know I'm not the only one. I hope I'm not the only one. So I just wanted to talk about that, you guys, real quick and just say, moms, if you're not a mom, um, if you're just a person trying to get your life together, you don't have any children, this kind of just goes, I feel like, for everyone all different categories, all different women out there. Take the time for yourself. Spend that time alone. Alone time is worth it. Don't let anyone tell you that you don't need the alone time or try to downplay it or down talk it. Alone time is definitely important as well as spending time with others. All right. Okay. I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Have a good day.